Well, good evening. I am here on deck tonight to talk a little bit about working your business to get to the next level. And in terms of that, my topic really was talking about star, car, and leadership, and how the three intertwine and align. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, well, Eleanor, I just want to make some extra money with my Mary Kay. I don't really want to go or be a director. And that's great. But this is still going to share. I'm still going to share some tips tonight that will help you progress in your business. Because if we're not going forward, if we're standing in the same spot, we're really going backwards. And do you really want to be in the same spot this time next year as you are now? Or do you want to have moved forward? So, um, so buckle up, ladies. I am here to share tonight. So well done for watching this. I thank you for your time, your patience, and I hope this blesses you. All right. So it really starts with your daily habits. It's that accumulation factor of doing those little things, having those little tweaks to your schedule day by day by day that brings success big successes and the smaller successes and the, the lightness, the balance. Aren't we all looking for that kind of harmony with our life? It's easier when we have structure and find that balance. So number one, I mean, if knowing your numbers of where you want to be, okay? So if that's a diva, which is $600 wholesale in the month, you know that that's your goal and you can break that down into activity. If star is your goal, and right now I'm talking to you with six days until the end of the star quarter. So I hope star is on your heart and that you haven't given up on that goal. Because really, even with six days, one could break that down and go to work and make it happen. And it's always the bar to be a star. It's where uh, you can really be at profit level with your business. And it's where it makes the business so much less effort and so much more profit because you're not constantly having to put in little order, little order, little order and losing your profit on shipping. Instead, you're getting to that inventory level, that profit level where you're able to give people that service, you're able to give them what they need straight away, you're able to take your profit and you're able to restock your shelves. So um, being star, it is the bar. So know your numbers. Now, if you are working towards car, what might surprise you is that you can actually go on target to earn your first free Mary Kay career car with just five team members. Yes, you heard that correctly. You don't have dodgy ear hearing. Five team members. And when you have five team members who are working together and working um, for your team and you're doing $5,000 in one month, that will get you on target for your first month of car. Now, what's interesting is that you don't have to get five team members and go uh, have $5,000 worth of team production, and then you qualify to go in for your car. That month that you have five active team members, you're a team leader or above, and your team does $5,000, that counts as month number one. So you are on target, you are on track, and you are ready to earn your first free career car or the Mary Kay cash compensation. How much would that bless your life? If you have teenage children, or sort of 16 years and older, you, they can actually be the name driver on your car as well. Mary Kay insurance is so much, so much better, so much less than insurance you might have to pay. Um, so I understand. So that's how you go on target, okay? So you might be sitting there thinking, well, Eleanor, $5,000 in team production, that's a lot. Well, let's break that down. Like any Mary Kay goal, you can break it down a chunk at a time. So let's say you start this month as a senior consultant, okay? You're a senior consultant. And you a bronze medal this month and adds three new team members. Okay. 
Um, and I'm going to take some averages here. Let's say you're three new team members. One comes in and she, she wants more from the business and she uh, starts off with a star level inventory because she's she wants to be a star and she knows that's the bar. So she comes in with an 1800. And then you have a second team member who comes in at that diva achiever level and that's 600. And then you have a third team member coming in and you know, she's just sort of friends and family and, and she's, um, you know, minimal and uh, she wants to do like 225. Okay. So when you add an 1800 to 600 and a 225, what do you get? 2,625. Now let's say the two team members that you had on your team would place an active order. That's 225 and 225. So that adds a 450 to your team production, which brings you to $3,075. So that leaves you 1,925 to earn your first free car. Do you think you'd get into action <laughs> and see some faces? If the answer is yes, then um, that is the correct answer. And, uh, and it means that you would personally work your business. I found out at the end of February that I was $1,000 shy, um, the end of February, many years ago, uh, that I was $1,000 shy of being on target for my first free car. I hadn't been tracking it. Thank goodness I had a wonderful sales director, Sandy Husband, who told me, Eleanor, you're $1,000 away from being on target for your first free car. And I got excited. Now, I knew I couldn't necessarily look to anyone else of my team who had already been working that, that month to, to, to do that 1000 for me. I knew I needed to take that personal responsibility. And so that's the next thing you know you need in leadership and in earning your car. You need to take on personal responsibility for that goal. It's great to build a team, but you are the team leader in this. So you take personal responsibility. And um, I got to work and I took all of my customer profiles and I laid them out on my dining room table. And I sat there and it was, I think, a Saturday morning when she told me that. And there were a few days left of the rest of the month. And I laid everything out and I, got, I had my phone and I called and called every single solitary soul whose profile I had. And mostly I left voicemail message. I left excited voicemail messages saying, oh my goodness, I'm close to being on target for my first free Mary Kay car. Is there anything you want, need, or would like to try right now? I am at your service and would just be so grateful and delighted. And you know what? I had that $1,000 done in less than two days in less than two days from calling and getting excited. Now this was really before Facebook. I didn't, I wasn't able to use, or I think Facebook was around in those days, but I wasn't really utilizing it as a tool. And I didn't have that to rely on. But nowadays, think of the megaphone voice that you have when you have Facebook, when you have Instagram, when you have Snapchat, and when you have a goal that you're going for in a short amount of time. So personal responsibility, get excited. Earning your first free car is a really exciting thing. It's a tangible goal. I think sometimes that our customers don't really understand, oh, we want to become a red jacket. We want to become a Mary Kay independent sales director. We want to go into DIQ. They don't understand those terms necessarily. But what they do understand is, I'm getting close to my free car. <laughs> is there anything you want, need, or would like to try? Would you like to get together and try the new spring collection? I would be so delighted to serve you. And you ask. No asky, no getty, right? So you have right now on your team, you had those three new team players come in. You had your two actives put in their active orders. And then you personally take on responsibility for that 2000 wholesale. Now, what would that mean? What does that look like in numbers? Well, Jane and I were talking in the car yesterday and we thought really average wise, average wise, that comes to seeing 40 faces, which might sound a little intimidating, but think about it like this. That's 10 parties. Okay. Now 10 parties might sound intimidating, but think about it like this. That's two parties a week and then an extra on a weekend, okay? 
So, or if you did, as Jane and, and Kim and I do often, two parties on a Saturday. You can do two in one day. You can do three in one day if you wanted to, you know? But let's just take an average and say you did, say it was a five week month, okay? And you did two parties, two parties, two parties, two parties, two parties, that's 10 parties. Oh, I'm a genius. Um, um, and some months will be four months. So what do you do? Two parties, three parties, three parties, two parties. Um, or beauty experiences or hydrogel sessions. You take personal responsibility. And the cool thing is with that, not only will you go on target for your car, you'll be in front of more people to share the opportunity with. And that's what you need. You need to be in front of people to share the opportunity because you recruit around the product. You recruit around the beauty session. Okay. So when you see those people and they get excited and they, they, they love the feeling of their face and they remember the importance and the principles of this business and the principles of Mary Kay and that so aligns with your heart and they see themselves doing what you do and they get excited about following a woman on a mission because you're someone who's shared their goal. And isn't it fun to be part of something, to be part of a team, to be part of a tribe that is achieving something? And you resonate that. You emanate that. That is the energy that you give off. People want to follow ladies going somewhere. Okay. So when I recorded this yesterday and it didn't record, <laughs> Jane and I had a bit of an interview bit here um, with what it takes to really become a director. Okay. Now I've already mentioned personal responsibility. I've already mentioned um, scheduling yourself. I've already mentioned being a star. That's all part of earning your first free car and becoming a director. All things you want to do. But what else? What are those other things? Number one, your intention. You got to have that intention. You got to set that an intention. And if you don't feel it, see it, believe it, it's less likely to happen. You've got to set that intention right here in your third eye. Um, it's your seventh chakra, okay? But it's important. It's what is here. It's what is in your mind's eye. It's what is in front of you, okay? Now, we talk about being visual all the time. We talk about making a goal posters, putting your goals all around the house, putting tracking sheets on your fridge. So your kids, your husband, your partner, your mom, your dad, whoever is going to the fridge, sees how close you are. When you come back from another Mary Kay appointment, you get to color in that next bit on the tracking sheet and they get to cheer you on because this isn't just a personal goal. This isn't just a personal victory. This is a victory for the people whose lives you affect. And that means your friends, your family, um, it means your nearest and dearest. It also means the women on your team because your dreams are linked. And when you achieve and you succeed, they're going to succeed too because you're setting the example and you're showing them the way. You're guiding that light, okay? So your intention has to be crystal clear. If it's at all foggy, you're going to flip-flop. Okay, when it gets a little hard, you're going to take a step out, you're going to rest, and guess what? When you rest, you rust, you lose your momentum, you don't keep going, you quit on yourself. That's what happens when your intention isn't front and center. Um, your energy, you bring the energy. I read this brilliant uh, meme today that I'll have to share alongside this. Uh, this video, but it really is that when you enter a room, you add to the energy, you bring it up, or you bring it down. So you decide which of those you do. Are you the Tigger or are you the eel? And spoiler alert, if you're the eel, people don't want to follow you. You just attract more eels. If you're the Tigger, people want to go in that fun direction. Women want to have fun. You know, this business is a lot of fun. So when you're upbeat about it, when you're excited about where you're going, when you're on a mission, that makes a difference, lady. Next, grit and determination. You got to get gritty with it, okay? This business is a simple business. It's not always easy. 
it's not always easy. I have pe people even 12 years into the business who cancel parties on me, even though I've coached them beautifully. <laughs> it happens. Life happens. I don't take it personally. I keep my business hat on. I maybe let my emotions go, woo, woo, it's me, pouty face for a little while. Well, not for a little while, for like two minutes. And then I snap myself out of it and I pivot because I have grit. And I know if you're watching this and you want more, you have grit too. Sometimes we've got to dig deep to find it. Sometimes we've got to dig deep to find it and know what our intention is and whose lives it affects because that draws us out of our pity party. You know, if I'm feeling sorry for myself, where was me? She didn't have the party and I coached it beautifully. And blah, 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 blah. I know that every minute that I sit feeling sorry for myself is time I'm not pivoting and getting on and, and succeeding in some other way. You know, um, we get to choose that. We choose whether we languish with our victim story or whether we reach out with our victor story. Okay. So, um, Take that two minutes for your pity party and then get on the phone and find somebody else who wants to um, have a beauty session with you, who wants to be on your team. You know, you don't want to waste energy on chasing people who don't want to be chased. It took me a long time to learn that in men, with men, <laughs> and with Mary Kay. So um, next, target market. Are you working within your target market? Now, what is your target market? That's usually kind of what you are, you know? So it's, you know, 10 or so years around your age group. That's um, women of a, of a similar background and experience to you. That's probably what you're going to attract. Because when you speak your song, they're going to be able to hear it. They're tuned to hear it. And they like what they hear when you sing your song. So when you say your I story and your uh, empowered independent woman, the empowered independent women at the table will hear you. When you sing your song and you tell your story and your I story and you're a happily married mom who wanted more for herself, happily married women, even the not so happily married women, but the moms at the table will hear your song and think, I wonder if I could do what she does. If you are the um, corporate executive who desperately longs to be with her children at home and you speak to corporate executives who have kids, they're going to hear your song clearly. So that's kind of your target market, but there are some other specifics that Mary Kay suggests. Number one, ladies um, who have a college degree or higher, homeowners, ladies over 25, Ladies who are married, ladies who have kids. Now, of course, there are outliers. There are always outliers. Jane was an exception to the rule, and I was an exception to the rule. And it wasn't all those three or five things. I think Jean, Jane said she was three of those things. Um, I, have, I have a degree. I, was, I wasn't a homeowner at the time. I don't know. I, wasn't, I was married, but not happily. Um, I didn't have kids. Okay, and employed, that's the other one. So when, you, when someone checks at least three of those boxes, she might well be someone who will see some benefit in this business, okay? There can always be outliers. Remember, our highest growing demographic in this company right now is actually our college students. And who would have thunk, huh, um, that college students would be the ones earning the career cars right now? Why? Because they're excited. They believe in themselves. It's flexible. It works with their college schedule. They have, um, uh, they have an, a captive audience at college, and they're connected on social media. They're bold on social media. They ask for what they want on social media. And so they're having a lot of success because they're fearless. So, um, so your target market, can, there can be outliers. Okay, what else? Your work ethic. That is the characteristic that is important. When you want that higher level of Mary Kay, you've got to treat it like a business. When you treat it like a hobby, it can be inconsistent. 
when you treat it like a business and you work at it like a business with constant daily activity, constant weekly activity, dependent on your timing. Um, I have ladies who might not do it every day, but at the weekend, they'll put in some consistent effort and consistent time, and that makes their business run for them. Um, the consistent activity builds an accumulation factor. That's what National Sales Director Pamela Waltrop Shaw, um, always you'll hear her talk about the accumulation factor. You know, you can't go to the gym once and expect results. Okay, you have to show up and work out every single day to have those consistent results and to have those gains. And it's really the same with your Mary Kay. You know, if you're working at that higher level and you're working with your director and you want to go into leadership and earn your car and DIQ, then you're having the personal trainer, you know, um, that's you, you don't just get the gym membership, you get the personal trainer as well. And she has walked the walk and talk the talk, so she knows how to get those results. You know, you wouldn't go if you went to the gym for a personal trainer, you wouldn't necessarily have a karate instructor rather than a personal trainer at the gym, okay? Karate instructor does great other things, but if you're on gym machinery, you want a personal trainer, okay? And that's a bit like when we sometimes go outside the Mary Kay opportunity for help and advice. When we sometimes go to speak to, uh, have, uh, seek other mentors who haven't necessarily walked the talk, walk the walk and talk the talk. Protect what you're listening to. Because there's a lot of noise out there. There's a lot of noise. And your director wants you to get the results that are proven, tried, and tested. And after 56 years in business, this company is proven, tried, and tested. We get the best free education from our national sales directors and our elite executives and our directors. We have great education from corporate found on Mary Kay In Touch. If you want to go further in this business, everything you need is on your In Touch or on the end of the Voxer or on the end of the phone. You don't be shy about being in contact with your sales director or your national. She is there to help you. She wants to help mentor you and get you to that next set point to help you break through and break those belief barriers and get you to that next level that you so desire for yourself. Um, so that's the accumulation factor, your mentorship and your bounce back ability. Okay. It's really important that you have bounce back ability. And I talked about this about camping in pity city. When we have a disappointment, we don't camp there. We bounce back. Okay. We bounce back. A setback is just a setup for a comeback. I heard million dollar director Stacey Croft say that once, and I've kept it near and dear to my heart. Um, okay. So in terms of constant activity, oh yes, 90 day cycles build momentum. Did you know most women give up on day 45? And let me put that into perspective. So last night when we did this training on the road, um, Jane told a story about what changed her Mary Kay career. And that was, she was set a challenge. She was set a challenge by um, executive director Kelly Valerio, okay, from the Philadelphia area. And she set her a challenge to see 100 faces in 100 days. 100 faces in 100 days. Okay. And um, Jane started in the, I think it was February, and she saw 15 faces. And then she kind of dropped the ball a little the next month. <laughs> and um, I, I think on day 40, she recruited one person. And she got to day 88. <clears throat> and day 88 of this 100-day challenge, she had only recruited one person. But she knew that pride was at stake. And even though she wasn't doing it to earn a prize, a ribbon, a tangible bit of Mary Kay bling, she was doing it because she told her director, her adopted director, that she was going to see 100 faces. By hook or by crook. 
So she kept going. And on day 88, between day 88 and day 100, she recruited six people. These six people catapulted her into car production and into DIQ. If she had given up on day 87, she would never have become then a director. She'd never have met those six women who joined her team. and She wouldn't have earned her first free car. By not being obedient and disciplined, what are you denying yourself? And what are you denying your friends and family? Because your goal is attached to them. Um, it shouldn't be when you get to that level. It shouldn't be about the prizes. It shouldn't be about the purses. It shouldn't be about the rings. That's all really nice. But it should be about what that position will do for you and your family. What that will give you access to. Because that's the real intention. The bling bling's lovely. It's great. I love what Mary Kay gives us, but it's the opportunity to design your life. It's the abundance that we get and we're able to pass on to our children and our families. It's that freedom and flexibility so we can design our life, create our days and put our life in order, in order of priorities. So when you're not obedient to that, what are you giving up on? Um, we chatted a little about what our lives would look like without Mary Kay and where we might be. And it's something that, you know, I shudder to think how different my life would be and how sad my life might be without my Mary Kay girlfriends and without this opportunity that so changed my vision made me a better, better person, made me more empathetic, made me more compassionate, made me more a bigger thinker. So what would it make you when you follow through on your dreams and get closer to that car and DIQ and directorship? What would that give you access to? You can have it all, but you've got to be disciplined. The first step is diva, seeing faces. Second step, star, seeing faces, building that business, seeing faces so that you can share the opportunity, promote yourself to senior, super senior, red jacket, team leader. Oh, red jacket, star team builder, team leader. DIQ. It's about priorities and there will be some sacrifices, ladies. You know, there are millions of TV shows on these days that you don't have to watch in real time. You can re not even record those, but download whatever you use, you know. Um, uh, you can watch that after you've done your Mary Kay work. So um, daily habits for a team builder who wants to earn their car. So 10 booking attempts every single day. That will build your car. Being a star, non-negotiable, if you want to earn your car. Um, who are you listening to? I mentioned this before. Reach up to your mentor. Should be, I say it shouldn't should, I know that's bad to say, but contact with your director shows her that you're in it to win it, it shows her that you're committed and um, it allows her to be able to help you. If she never hears from you or if you ignore her texts and telephone, uh, telephone messages and voxes, how can she help you? She might be able to see with a broader vision your path when you're stuck and stuck in your path. So your events, are you supporting your events? If you're not, how are people going to support yours when you're a team leader and when you're a director? Next, are you communicating daily with your director? Oh, I said that already. Um, last one. Here's a funny one. Okay. When you're in leadership and when you're in DIQ, do not go on vacation. <laughs> 
do not leave your goal on the table. And I know as the weather was beautiful today, we can't help but think about summer vacations. But when you have a goal, get your goal done first, and then vacation will be so much sweeter because that victory will be on your heart and mind and not the bit before the victory. <laughs> So that gives you a little overview of last night. Um, I hope this helps you in giving you some ideas of what you can do and whether your level is ha, whether your level is directorship. You know, it really starts with those healthy habits of diva and, st and star and builds. On that. So with six days to go information besides that i said i'd ask you since wednesdays aren't good for me she's still the end of the star quarter let me just mute things until the end of the star quarter we have six days from now so you can make that difference and do the activity make those daily habits and make it happen so i'm gonna upload this i hope it helps you and um and blesses you and your business.